HTML5 and other web standards have really given designers and developers the ability to create some really dynamic content that works across devices. Uh, let's take Dreamweaver CS6 for instance. You have this new fluid grid layout allowing you to basically have a grid set up for each device. So whether it's mobile, tablet, or desktop, you can quickly set up a CSS grid system. In fact, I'll just call this one grid, and you can see it right here. And notice this div actually says that you can insert divs from the insert panel. So over here in the insert panel, you can insert additional divs, as you can see here, and I could call this nav something like that, and now I have two. And the power of this is I'm able to resize this div to make it maybe two columns, okay? And this is for the mobile layout, okay? So this is the CSS for the mobile layout. I can click to tablet. Notice how that's set up that way. So I can adjust this uh, per each device, and then we have desktop as well. And, and what's great is what you're doing is you're actually modifying this grid CSS, and you can really basically use that same HTML content and uh, a different apply basically a different look using CSS, and it will actually scale well across these different devices. Uh, another thing you can use if you go to File, New, you have the ability to go to Page from Sample and use the updated jQuery mobile framework. These are touch and UI based uh, interactions that you can add as well as a whole framework that you can use for a new mobile specific site. Uh, not only that, I will select this last one which gives you the ability to ultimately potentially output it to PhoneGap. And I'll show you what that means in a second. But you can see if I select Live View you can see that this is already set up as a mobile specific website. And from there, you can use PhoneGap Build to actually build your own separate project that basically makes this an app. So it's really powerful what you can do in Dreamweaver. But I want to go beyond Dreamweaver. I want to actually jump into Flash because since we're talking about web standards, you're probably wondering, well, why am I opening up Flash Professional CS6? Well, what's available in here is we have this extension. It's the Toolkit for CreateJS extension. So check this out. I can take something typical like this, happens to be like a banner ad, and from here, typically I'd export out an SWF file. In this case, I would just go ahead and target a folder on my desktop, and then click Export. This is awesome because if I click that, it actually takes my uh, what was once my Flash content and makes it HTML content, as you can see right here. And this would play fine, uh, you know, on an iPad or or any sort of any sort of mobile device, iOS or Android. So this is really cool, sort of extending your skills uh, from Flash to HTML. It's really exciting. Also part of the Creative Cloud is a new product. It's called Adobe Edge. And what it allows you to do is create cool animation and interactivity for web standards. So it will output you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, really cool. In fact, let's just take a look at it right here. And what I have going on here is, sure enough, you guessed it, some animation. I'm just kind of scrubbing through the timeline. It's pretty easy to add animation. Say, for instance, if I wanted to animate this object in, I could maybe push it off initially. And you could see as I've pushed it off, it gives me this X and Y. These keyframes is what those are. And then I can scrub in about right there. And then I can move it into position just like that. And as I do that, it builds this tween. Uh, pretty easy to use. You can see it zip in and then it will stop there. Uh, beyond that, you can insert triggers, and triggers are basically JavaScript that you can add, and you can even use any of these, these snippets over here on the side to add any of the, that functionality. But from there, again, this is HTML content, any sort of web standard content, which would be HTML, JavaScript, and CSS to drive this experience. But from here, I can go ahead and preview this in a browser just to get an idea of what the final experience is like. And the animation that I just worked on is on the second frame. You can see everything slide in, and then there's those spools. So Edge really enables you to create some powerful experiences. It's actually available as part of the Creative Cloud, as well as the other products that I talk about. It's really cool sort of taking your current skills, hitting not only uh, new devices, but having your content scale across many devices. Really powerful. I encourage you to check out uh, Creative Suite 6, as well as the Creative Cloud.